guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be another what's inside my bag video. I switched purses maybe like three weeks ago or even longer and um, I wanted to share with you since I did switch purses from the last video what's inside. Now I will say that it's pretty chaotic inside this bag. I don't even know what's going on. It's not even organized by any means but the good thing about um, when I make these videos for you guys is that I go and kind of reorganize my purse afterwards so I'm definitely in need of doing that with this bag again like I just don't even know so we are about to find out don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the like button and the notification bell down below and without further ado if you guys like to find out what the heck is inside my bag then just keep watching so it's been a while since I had a never fold but I finally switched back to one I have mentioned in many videos that never folds I think are the most practical bag or Louis Vuitton bag I just love the shape of them it's just a wide open pocket you can get like the organizers that come with them so that you have like different pockets and compartments but I just really don't like that I kind of just like throwing things in and taking things out I know that sounds bad it's not constricting the straps so if you're wearing a big bulky coat which I am this time of year um, you still have plenty of room so it's just a very um, practical bag for me so this is the one that I'm currently using if you guys are interested in a more affordable version of this I will have information down below this is going to be like a game of grab bag I'm just going to reach in my purse and kind of just like see what I pick out so it's definitely not going to be like in any particular order so first off I have a gift card I actually got this from my neighbor for Christmas it is a gift card to Kohl's we'll definitely be using that and then this is a receipt from Walmart and I think this is from yesterday so yesterday we went and um, we just got a bunch of things and they still had some Christmas decorations um, on sale left over I think they're like 50% at Walmart so we um, picked up some Christmas lights for next year outdoors um, I think we even got a Christmas tree as well for like 20 bucks um, so yeah and then just like some cat food yogurt almonds um, I bought Fig Newtons. I don't know. I haven't like eaten those in years, but I saw them. I was like, oh, I'm going to like get those. They're really good. So yeah, it's just a receipt to Walmart. Um, so let's just keep reaching in this grab bag. So I'm actually reaching in the pocket first. So this is like stuff I typically will mention at the end of the video, but um, I know I'm grabbing like all my lip products. I'm just going to grab everything out of this um, compartment right now and just set it on my lap. So quickly we'll go through. I've got the same two lipsticks I always have in my purse. It is MAC Faux, which is a beautiful nude shade. It actually almost matches. Um, this isn't what I'm wearing, but it's very similar to what I'm wearing. It's just a really pretty, nice nude shade. And then this is MAC Brave kind of is a little bit darker than what I'm wearing, but both nice, pretty, neutral nude shades. And then I have some glosses here. I have um, Too Faced Lip Injection in Street Extreme. Now it might look like it is, um, like have some color to it, but it's actually a clear uh, lip gloss. It's from putting it over lipstick and liquid lipstick that it's turned this color. So you can disregard that, um, but I do like this. I actually like you know, like rediscovered it in one of my drawers back there and um, forgot how much I liked it. So I popped it in my purse. And then this one right here is really great. I mentioned it like a million times. It's the Buxom like BFF collab version that they did or whatever. And um, it's just their plumping lip polish that these, these do have a tingle to them. I love it. Some people don't. It's like a cooling tingle effect, but they have so many different shades, so many different colors. And this is nice because if I don't want to put lipstick on, but I just want some pop of color because my lips on their own are just like almost like a pale color. There's just like no color to them. Some people are like born with like naturally like pinkish like red lips, not me. Um, so this is nice. It gives me a little bit of color. We have like the same uh, pocket back that I've had forever from Bath and Body Works. It is the blueberry crumble one. I have like like about half left, a little more than half. So I just keep this one in. It smells really nice. And then lastly, my wireless earbuds. I mention all the time to you. I love them. I've had no issues with them. They fit really nicely in your ears. They don't fall out. And they are also a Bluetooth 
for your phone. Um, I know like my husband, before he got these, he had a Bluetooth um, for when he was driving and he probably spent well over $100 on it. And these are like 20 something dollars and you can use them as a Bluetooth as well and talk on them and they're just like just as good. So um, I like wear these around the house, everything like that. And the charge holds really nicely because you charge this port and then it lasts for a really long time where you just pop them back in. And then I don't know if the green light went on, but it charges. So these are my wireless earbuds. Okay, so next I'm going to grab like a few random things and I will set them on my lap. Okay, so first off, the most heaviest item of what I just grabbed. This is the perfume I'm currently carrying in my purse. And I've mentioned this company many times before. They're the company Dossier. And basically what's great about them is they make designer inspired fragrances for $29. I have shelled out well over $100 on fragrances before. Um, this one right here is actually inspired by YSL Moan Paris, which I actually own and spent like $150 on you guys. But this one right here, um, $29. And I'm going to tell you right now, smells exactly like it. So um, this is just a really cool site. I have tons of their perfumes. I think I have um, one that is inspired by Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. And that one, that perfume is like $150 and smells just like it. So if you guys are interested in saving money on designer perfumes that smell just like the real deal, I would definitely recommend them. So this has actually never been in a what's in my bag video. We got Chinese food the other night. Somehow a fortune cookie ended up in my purse. Um, <laughs> so anyways, I thought it'd be cool without like getting crumbs anywhere. Let's just see because I totally forgot that I grabbed this and uh, didn't open it up for the fortune. So let's see what the fortune is. So it says... How, oh no, that's the wrong side. Okay, it says, your skills will accomplish what the force of many cannot. I don't know exactly what that means, but okay. And it says that my lucky numbers are 15, 13, 54, 43, 7, and 31. And then next, I'm not going to go into much detail. This is in every video. It's my favorite gum. And I've just been really good about chewing gum. Um, this has lasted me like over two weeks and it's like pretty much like halfway. So um, the reason why I haven't been chewing as much gum is because I think <laughs> I had so many dental problems that I was either in pain and just didn't. Um, and I kind of got used to it. Uh, I have a root canal coming up uh, next week. So yeah, um, I just, I think I explained it in my last like few what's in my bag videos. Uh, you would think that I have phenomenal teeth. They might look nice, but I am blessed with teeth problems thanks to my mother, hereditary. Uh, I at least get one root canal a year and I do everything under the sun when it comes to taking care of my teeth. My husband doesn't even floss. I gargle with fluoride, you know, mouthwash, use fluoride toothpaste. I floss. I do all that and this is what happens. So anyways, um, yeah, so that's my gum. I'm doing good on that. Let's kind of like reach in and try to find something different. Um, I feel like, okay, so we have more food going on. Some holiday candy. We've got a little mini Twix, which I'm probably going to eat after this video. And then we have Kit Kat. I love Kit Kats, you guys. So we just have some baby mini miniature candies in here. And then let's see, I'm going to pull out my wallet, but very uneventful open. It can talk to you. We know that, you know, I just don't ever zipper it up. Um, I do have cash. Like I actually put it in like the back of my wallet, but I have cash on me, you guys. And I'm actually shocked. Um, this might be the most money I've ever had in my wallet before you guys like really shocked here. I have, let's see, I have $95 on me. Oh my goodness. So, um, yeah, I do have cash on me, but um, I don't really know if I have anything else worth sharing inside this wallet. So now I kind of have to look and see what else I haven't grabbed yet, so bear with me. I have like five items left that I haven't grabbed, so I'm just going to grab them all out of here and go through them. So this is just a receipt from like a grocery store, so nothing really fancy with that. This I actually forgot about, and I need to cash this in. I won $10 on a scratch off, you guys. Uh, I like never, ever, like I know people that are just so good with scratch offs, and they'll win like $150, $500, $1,000, $2,000. I think the most I've ever won on a scratch off is $40. So 
I won $10 so on a dollar scratch off nonetheless so I definitely forgot about that and need to cash that in I'm actually gonna put that in the pocket so I don't forget um, next like we've seen this 50 million times and it's just got all the essentials that I would need um, like feminine products and um, you know like a hairbrush we've got my doll um, we've got like Advil um, we've got Tylenol we've got Tums um, I actually don't know if I have any more lactates in here because we went out to dinner and my husband needed them but typically so I need to restock them but I like to keep lactates in this little pouch because my husband's lactose intolerant and just doesn't really care and eats cheese and dairy and all that kind of stuff so I like to carry them with me um, yeah, so pretty much this is just, did I mention a Tide stick? But if I don't bring this out with me, kind of this like emergency pouch or whatever with all my like, you know, things that I could potentially need, something will happen where like I have a headache and I'm out and I don't have this or I spill something on a white shirt and I need a, a Tide stick or um, I have food in my teeth and I need like one of the floss sticks or my eyes are dry. This actually fell out, but it's um, eye drops. So you guys get the gist. I honestly like never open this up lately the only time I open this up is like when my husband needs lactate which obviously I need to like fill this back up but yeah so that's just why I keep it in because I swear to God I'll take that out and then I'll go out and need something from it and then I think lastly I feel like I got through this kind of quickly but last but not least are my keys so nothing eventful here um i actually need to take this planet fitness thing off <laughs> it's, i'm actually embarrassed because i did cancel my membership to uh, planet fitness so um i can just take this off because i do not need it at this point um and if i do go to the gym i will go with my husband but um yeah so anyways that's it for what's in my bag i need to go uh through and get the food out of my purse and i need to like reorganize it um, and I also need to put lactates back in my purse, but that's why I do these videos too, because it kind of gets me in a good practice of reorganizing my purse. But anyways, that is it for this video. Let me know in the comments down below. What does your bag look like? Is it super organized or is it chaotic or is it like in between? Does it start off organized and kind of go downhill? That's always a story with me. It just depends on like how far downhill it goes. It always starts off super organized. Also, what's inside your bag? Do you keep similar items? different items. I'd be curious to find out. But anyways, that is it. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.